Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, October 12th, 2017 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is my yin attunes me to my passion and my yang heeds the call. <laughs> and I sat with that because I was like, my yang pursues, my yang stalks, <laughs> my yang goes after it. And I was like, no, it heeds the call. It listens because we want those yin and yang energies to be working together. It heeds the call. It heeds the call that the yin is making that attunes you to your passion. And today we have a lovely astro day. Um, I think we're going to have a foot in two realms. And I do kind of have that with the abundance card. We have the moon finishing up in Aquarius early in the morning. Moon in Aquarius will shift to Pisces at 7.26 a.m. Pacific time. So that's like 10.26 a.m. Eastern time. So it's, you know, mid-morning, but still an early shift. But between Sun and Libra, which wants us to find um, balance of things, wants us to be in harmony, and can be kind of more practical natured, and then the moon in Pisces, which is not usually accused of being very practical, <laughs> very attuned to the spirit. Like I said, balancing, being here, being present, seeing the beauty in the now, and then also connecting to spirit energy, to the universal energy, to find your balance, to help you have a foot in two realms, this abundance card. Um, before that shift, though, we have the moon in Aquarius finishing up, making a few connections. The moon in Aquarius is connecting to Uranus, 27 degrees. So you may get some interesting ideas. I had this happen last night where suddenly in the middle of the night I woke up and I could not sleep for two hours because ideas were just like flooding in. So you may have that as the moon connects to Uranus. I advise you going to sleep with a pad by your bed. So this is going to sleep like Sunday night to Monday. <laughs> Go to sleep with a pad by your bed or you know if you're in Europe or something walking around with a pad just in case any of these ideas, these inspirations come through for you to support you. The moon in Aquarius will also connect to Neptune. Not Neptune, sorry, Jupiter. <laughs> Jupiter. Um, Jupiter which is navigating the final degrees of Libra moving into Scorpio in eight days from this scope. So on the 10th, it is moving into Scorpio. And I have to say, I do feel that Scorpio energy coming in. I do have some strong Scorpio on my chart, but like, I feel it. They, like Scorpio energy, it's like, it's creeping in. Like the early, early, early fingers of fog creeping in. <laughs> I feel that Scorpio energy. And it's intense and it's strong and it's powerful. But it is important to get the lesson of the sign before the next sign. So the lesson that we have been focusing on with Jupiter in Libra is that lesson of self-love. And that is a very important foundation to grasp and honor before this shift. So please make that part of your purpose. Make your vibration <laughs> attuned to that over this next week, basically, um, so that you're ready. I love this Jupiter at 28 degrees. That is a degree of worth, and that is a big proponent of the self-love process, is knowing your worth, your inherent worth, and, you know, expanding in and through that all the time, and therefore being able to bring forth your talents and being able to show up on a soul level what you came to bring. So then I said, like I said, moon will shift into Pisces energy, um, we do not have any aspects after that, but it will be a balancing act. And the cards I have definitely show me a little bit more of what I talked about the other day. We definitely have some good balance going on. I have two balance cards. I have the lover's card, self-love first, and then that love overflows and comes back to you in all kinds of different ways in the physical. But it's a balancing act within first. The balancing act between body, mind, spirit, soul. But this is really balancing the physical and the non-physical. You know, being really attuned to what your 3D self needs and then also being in tune, what's going on for you in the 5D? What's going on for you in the spiritual realm? What's going on for you in the higher dimensions? And working consciously to balance. What I love, this moon in Pisces bringing in psychic energy. Here we have, we are being guided. We're being guided in and through our balance. But yet, there's still something to work on. 
I have the miser card again. I pulled this the other day. The miser saying, hey, there's something in your heart. You're going through a heart process right now, and there's some seeds, seeds of love <laughs> being sown in your heart that are wanting to pop forth. But because maybe, maybe of some lack of imbalance, you know, or lack of balance, lack of, lack of self-worth stuff, we still need to work on those so that you can fully share your gifts, share these inner jewels. But don't you fear because you are ready, you are ripe, here it is. Spirit is helping you. Again, are you listening? Are you tuning in to the guidance that's being brought to you? Moon in Pisces, along with this time of year, it's a very psychic time of year. The veils do start to thin. So your guidance is there, loud and clear. Tune in and listen. Before I get to my final card, I want to mention a few things. I have a few sales going up. One is the ch, -ch changes sale. <laughs> this is going to incorporate Jupiter into Scorpio, Saturn into Capricorn. Next year, Chiron moving into Aries. Next year, Uranus moving into Taurus and all the eclipses. I'm going to have that going up. I'm going to have a sale going up for if you want a year like overview of all the planets. Um, I'm going to put that up. And I'm also going to be fielding, you know, interest in a class. I'm thinking about starting an astro class. I've been asked about it so much in the new year, but I want to see who's interested in it so I can really see how it is that I want to format this. With the first two readings, the Ch -ch Changes reading and the uh, year in review, or year ahead in review reading, I will be doing a limited amount of those and then I'm raising the price. So I'm starting with 88 for the Chicha Changes. Um, did I mention it goes into the eclipses too? The eclipses that we have next year? That and all the other shifts that's going on. Jupiter, Saturn, Chiron, Uranus. Um, and then if you want like all the planets, Venus, Mars, Mercury, what everybody's going through next year, that's 111. But like I said, limited time with those and I'm going to be putting out a video hopefully later today, that gets into it. So, to finish up from Soulful Woman, because I forgot it yesterday, and it's such a good card, but this one is so good too, because I really feel like this works with our yin and yang mantra today. Dream seeds. I nurture my dream seeds with love and appreciation and allow them to unfold in their own time. My yin attunes me to my passion, and then the yang heeds the call. The yang doesn't necessarily go right after it because that might not be the way to what it is that you want. But the yang is paying attention, it's listening, balanced with the yin, so it knows how to move forward. But I'm going to read this because I love this. My dreams are my soul's own desire to experience new things and new learning, new ways to express my divine imagination and my gifts. When a new dream or desire is right for me, I feel a sense of excitement, purpose, or adventure, a big yes within that doesn't go away but continues to spark my imagination and quicken my heartbeat. I nurture my dreams with love and allow them to unfold in their own time. I know it's best to take the seed of inspiration and plant it quietly in the nourishing energies of my heart, giving it time to grow strong before sharing my dreams with others. And when one dream dies, a space opens for a new dream to be born. Dreams are always flowing to me. I nurture my dream seeds with love and appreciation and allow them to unfold in their own time. So there we have it. Take it easy with this Pisces moon. Maybe spend a little bit of time daydreaming, attuning to these dreams, these dreams, these dreams, so that your yin can show you, yes, yes, this is the way I want to go. And then the yang is like, yes, let's, let's do this. Let's do this thing. So book a reading, go check out uh, the sale at Gaia Blooming. Check out my video, which I'm going to put out, like I said, hopefully later. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.